been in a flat range and LARPs, like your favorite YouTubers. Guys, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe on this video. The big support of the channel is me, myself, and I, because I don't have a supporter of this channel. So go ahead and drop me a like. And let me know that you want to see more of this. And that might perhaps make me and my fiance be willing to let me dig deeper in my pockets to give you more of what you guys want. Yes, I am a professional LARPer. That's the only thing that I am professional at. When it comes to shooting, forgive the noise, we are at a range. Um, I just do it because I love it. This is uh, my hobby, my passion. I appreciate it. As you probably will see later on in this video, make mistakes like everybody else does. I'm just not too ashamed to go ahead and put it on YouTube to show you guys that I can make that mistake. The sound quality in this video is pretty shitty because we are out here in San Bernardino, California. at have 66 shooting park. And um, perhaps we can uh, get a microphone for this camera so we'll be able to go ahead and do some stuff later on the further along this channel grows. So without further ado, I'm going to get into shooting this gun that I brought. The last video that I did was an unboxing of the CPAP M70 Bison style. It is a Yugoslavian pattern AK made and manufactured in Serbia and sold to us Americans. Chrome line cold forge barrel. Um, it is an absolute dream of a weapon. I've shot them before. Now I'm going to be able to shoot my own today. I'm going to show you some of the reasons why I did some of the upgrades that I did. I'm talking about the muzzle brake, the trigger, the stock. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. the balaclava half-ass version uh, the neck gator it's really because administrative results you are one of my heroes and yes I do watch you while I'm on the toilet as you claim so the reason that I went ahead and did the JMAC custom break on there basically it's gonna make it the flattest shooter as possible it's got four chambers in that right the RRD 4C and this is the slim model so this is basically gonna go ahead and get you a little bit of a smaller footprint on this um, Kyber Customs gas uh, hater grader uh, gas tube cover is basically just an aesthetic for me. As you saw how fast I was able to go ahead and do the shooting, this is the AKT EL um, uh, ALG Defense. This trigger is super, super crisp. Um, and then we went ahead and did the uh, rear stock on this now. This is a fixed stock. In California, you're not able to have a telescoping stock. But let's go ahead and do a few more shots with her. Safety is really, really stiff. Now, I actually have a preferential for Krebs Custom Safety. It's a little bit of a, uh, a cheat code, if you will. It basically gives you the ability to go ahead and turn it on and off. Uh, I didn't have time to get one for this video. We didn't talk about it. But I really, really like this. My first impression is already having shot 30 rounds through it. Uh, it's an AK, man. It's, it's just going to go ahead and be tried and true. It feels really good. Uh, they did a lot of really cool little nuances with this. As you saw, it does have last round bolt hold open. Uh, this safety does have the little notch for you to be able to, uh, to catch that bolt if you needed to, because some ranges uh, really prefer you to have it an, an, an open bolt to go ahead and show that the, the, the weapon is clear. Um, but this is by far one of the nicest AKs that I've shot. I have gotten to shoot the uh, recently, you saw in one of my short videos, uh, the Arsenal Sam 7SF. Um, from a buddy of mine, Steve, shout out to you for going ahead and, and really letting me play around with all of your, your dope toys, man. But um, I shot his M70 and fell in love with it, and that is basically why you're watching this channel here today. This is, this is honest to God, one of my favorite um, shooting guns so far. Um, I do have a Visca from Century Arms. I'll show you that a little bit in this video as well. Um, but as we all know, uh, America makes great ARs and the best AKs. So if you're gonna get an AK, you gotta get one. You're basically just gonna kind of see me play around with this a little bit today and, and give you my, my opinions as we go. But um, let's go ahead and run some drills.
last round bolt hold open right there. Um, what's really cool about this weapon for me is that like I've kind of gotten used to the ergos on it. Um, I bent this the safety so it's just it's smooth as butter right here. You can actually manipulate it with like one finger and pull it forward. Um, yes, here in California we do have to use this stupid fucking fin, but um, I've made this my own. Honestly, I'm not really uh, opposed to using this. The only thing that I, that I don't feel comfortable with when it comes to shooting this for like the longevity of my life is the fact that it is a cast trunnion. Cast trunnions, for those of you who don't know, um, This paddle that they have for the mag release, it's so much bigger than the Zestava, and it wears in so much better. I'm gonna actually see how much it wears in, but... Hey, it's a great price, so fuck it, why not, right? Check out this Zestava, a quick comparison between the two right now. It's a price, we just shot with this guy. Let's go ahead and just do a quick comparison. Arms has a jump on the Zestava about really is this small uh, back release paddle. It's just not as comfortable to, to try to, to grab and swap out. Now you can do like the click, um, the click release um, back change out of it, but um, if I was going to say that I needed like a battle AK or a race AK, it'd be this all day. I, I wouldn't even fuck around with American AK. This is good uh it's got the paracord you know wrapping off coming off of it i'm not a good you know paracord rapper i guess um but whatever guys like comment and subscribe i just wanted to say thank you to anybody who's done stuff so far this channel is in its infancy with the shorts that i've done and some of the other videos that are on their way uh, remember this comes out of my pocket so i'm not going to do no patreon if anything, I just want you guys to show me that this is what you want to see and I'll continue to dig deeper in my pockets to make sure I can go ahead and deliver on that. Um, really, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has encouraged me to continue on this path of finding out how deep the rabbit hole goes when it comes to this firearm thing here, especially in California. Big shout out to Road 66 Shooting Park for having me today. I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, if it's able to aim and you can go bang, I love it. See you guys later.